What we're trying to do is to help you to appreciate the intricacies, the complexities of the science to celebrate creation and enjoy it, but then also to think about these questions of meaning and purpose that science can raise. Is the universe as a whole full of purpose? Of course it is. And that's why we think it is, because in a sense we are resonating with this deep instinct that things are not simply random. When I look at some of the things that I study in science, I never cease to be amazed at quite how impressive the world is. Christian scripture describes God's creation as good and as each of the different components as God creates them being deemed good. And I think that's indicative of the natural tendency I feel I have to ascribe intrinsic value to creatures. The natural world, as I come to understand it more, in my view, is a reflection of the, the goodness and the wisdom of its creator. The genetic code is clearly very special. It's what we mean by special, right down to this fact that it has curious, deep properties that seem to be more or less predictable. There's a series of interconnections between God, humanity and the rest of creation that are playing out all the time. And in an ideal world, those connections work really well and the land flourishes, people flourish. And one of the things that excites me about Christianity is it's a lens that brings my experience, my observations of the world into far sharper focus than anything else I've discovered up to this point. We need that clarity. We need that sense of being able to see things properly. For me, studying the wonders of a living world is an exercise in art appreciation. So for me, the joy of discovery is also the joy of appreciating the world that God has made.